वेलकम एवरी वन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी ट्वेंटी मोर कॉमन जी आर ई वर्ड सो लेट आर स्टार्ट माई फर्स्ट वर्ड इज एपोजिट एपोजिट मीन्स अप्रोप्रिएट इट मीन्स सुटेबल फिटिंग एप्ट बी फिटिंग रेलिवेंट फर्टिन एंड सो वी कैन यूज एपोजिट इन अ सेंटेंस हिज ऑब्जर्वेशन आर इन डीड एपोजिट टू द प्रजेंट डिस्कशन so they are relevant to the present discussion they are pertinent to the present discussion they are suitable to the present discussion second example i found his speech wholly opposite to the current debate so his speech was wholly relevant to the current debate it was uh, fitting to the current debate or it was pertinent to the current debate so opposite means appropriate suitable fitting a befitting relative relevant pertinent tangent means a completely different line or thought of action it also means to go off topic so we can used in a sentence it surprised everyone when our history teacher went off on a tangent about physics so the history teacher went off topic instead of discussing history he started discussing physics so the history teacher went off on a tangent about physics second example even though the author goes off a tangent several times in his latest book he still tells an intriguing story about his years in the military so even though the author goes off uh, off topic several times in the latest book but he still tells an intriguing int intriguing story about his years in the military doctor means change the contents or appearance of especially of a document or picture one is the other doctor that treats that do, does the medical treatment doctored also means to change the content or appearance of a document or a picture in order to deceive falsify or manipulate a document for example the reports could have been doctor so the reports could have been manic manipulated the reports could could have been fabricated it could have been falsified it could have been tampered second example of doctor he was found to have provided the court with doctored evidence so he provided the court with falsified evidence with manipulated evidence with tampered evidence other word is anything but anything but anything but means not at all anything but means not at all it is used very frequently in gre so we can use it in a sentence like my favorite teacher is anything but un uncooperative it means that my favorite teacher is very cooperative anything but means not at all it is used to emphasize not at all so my favorite teacher is not at all uncooperative which means he is very cooperative next word is heedless heedless means showing a reckless lack of care or attention not paying attention paying no heed to careless of it means lack of care or attention about certain subject scoffer means someone who laughs and speaks about a person or idea in a way that shows that they think that the person or idea is stupid or silly so scoffer means to mock someone or to laugh at someone or to laugh in an uh, uh, laugh on an idea for example i was able to uh, prove the scoffers wrong so i was uh, able to prove the people who laughed at me i proved them wrong so scoffer means mockers wholesome means conducive to or suggestive of good health of good health or physical well being so it means healthy for example dried figs are very wholesome we can see fruits are very wholesome because fruits are healthy so wholesome means very healthy perilous means full of danger or risk it means full of danger or risk so i can say a perilous journey south a very dangerous journey south next word is mystify mystify means to bewilder to puzzle to perplex to confound to bemuse all these bemuse confound perplex puzzle are the synonyms of mystify we can use mystify in a sentence 
I was completely mystified by the magician's disappearance. Encumber means to hinder, to hamper, to obstruct, to impede, to check, to limit, to restrain, to cramp, especially of movement. For example, he was encumbered by his tight pants. It's not tight pants, it's tight pants. So he could not walk freely in tight pants. He was restrained in the tight uh, pants. He was cramped by the tight pants. So we say he was encumbered by his tight pants. Flagrant means obviously offensive. Conspicuously offensive. Flagrant means obviously un offensive. Preeminent means greatest, best, foremost, best. Best of all kind. Preeminent means the greatest of all time or the best of all kind or the foremost. Perseverant means persistent in doing something despite difficulty and uh, despite difficulty. It also means unwavering. So perseverant means persistent in doing something despite difficulty. Unwavering. Supercilious means arrogant. It means haughty. It means pompous. Meaning behaving or looking as though one thinks one is superior to others. So this feeling of superiority is known as supercilious. For example, it is better to be humble and succeed than to be supercilious and fail. So it is better to be humble and succeed than to be arrogant and fail. Arrogance always brings the downfall of a person. Paltry means a small amount of something. For example, my teenage son often complains about what he considers to be a paltry allowance or a paltry pocket money. So he believes that it's a very small amount of pocket money. Disconcerting means causing one to feel unsettled. It means unsettling, unnerving, discomforting. Gouge means overcharge or swindle. Gouge means to deceive by overcharging. Stagnant means stay same, not improve, not grow, not show increasement. For example, economic growth expect is expected to stay stagnant this year because of coronavirus. So ex economic growth expected to stay the same. It is expected to not improve or to not grow this year because of coronavirus. In fact, some economic economies are uh, down are, are falling because of coronavirus. So because of coronavirus, economic growth expected to stagnate, expected to not grow. Melodramatic means histrionic. It means overly dramatic. It means exagger exaggerated. Seven means a learned person, an intellectual, a scholar, a sage, a philosopher, a thinker. So seven means a learned person and an intellectual who has a very profound knowledge about uh, something, a scholar, a sage, a philosopher, a thinker. That's all for today. Thank you.